Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a Newman's Own Thin and Crispy Crust Pizza. This is the four cheese pizza. It has mozzarella, cheddar, parmesan, and Asiago cheeses. That's how it looks. It was $5.99 at Kroger, which is actually a really good price um, for a pizza, especially at Kroger, I think. Um, so... It doesn't look fancy. It has a real thick cut cheese though, which looks really good. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 425. You want to place the pizza directly on the rack. This one does not have cardboard underneath it. So you're going to have to get a cutting board or something out to cut it on. Uh, but you want to bake it for 10 to 12 minutes. That's it. So I'm going to bake mine for the full 12 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is how it looks. The cheese is glistening, but I think it'll help it that it has that, that thick cut cheese. I think it'll be making a nice texture because uh, most of the pizzas we've had don't uh, aren't that thick cut. It looked like it was really easy for you to cut mm, too. Yeah. Okay, this says a third of the pizza, 151 grams, is 390 calories. Uh, these are made in Westport, Connecticut. It says, keep pizza frozen prior to baking. Do not eat pizza without cooking. Remove pizza from box, over wrap, and cardboard. Pizza is done when cheese is completely melted and edges are golden brown. Let pizza stand three to five minutes before serving. Refrigerate or discard any unused portion. It has 100% real cheese. Um, okay, there we go. So the four cheeses again are Mozzarella, cheddar, parmesan, and Asiago. Um, I noticed something. It seemed like it had. Where are the. Oh, here we go. It seemed like it had um, something else in here. Uh, the sauce, cheddar cheese. Yeah, that was it. Okay, that's it. Now, this crust does not feel. It's not crunchy, crunchy, maybe. but it's not really soft either. It's kind of in between. It has a crunch to it, but it's not as doughy as like a, a pan or something like that. It's not a bad pizza. Mm -mm. It's not what I call an exciting pizza, but no. it's not bad. It, it, no. It's just a regular cheese pizza. <laughs> yeah, it... You do taste the cheese. Mm -hmm. I do like the thickness of the cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has and a nice texture. And once I saw it, I thought, oh, that's going to be really mm -hmm. nice. Um, it's just not, there's not like, like you don't get any like garlic flavor, mm -hmm. onion flavor, and even any salt or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, and even and like. that comes down to the sauce. The sauce is just kind of. Yeah. A bland, not bland. Well. Kind of bland uh, kind tomato of. sauce. Mm -hmm. Like a there's not much to it. Yeah, there's not there's no really garlic. Like you said, there's no garlic. There's no onion. There's you know what I will do with this. It's put salt. I'll put nature seasoning on it because that oh. gives me the onion, the garlic, and the salt. Yeah, and, and spices. It I might do that too. Yeah, nature seasoning makes mm -hmm. a plain pizza much better. I get comments and it's hilarious. I find them hilarious. Now, other people might be like, "Well, you shouldn't be laughing." But I find it funny when somebody says they buy a frozen pizza and then they do all this stuff to it. Like they, I add pepperonis and soy. They add pepperoni and they add more cheese and they do all this stuff. And I'm like, well, first of all, we're reviewing it the way it comes out of the box. Yeah, so we're not reviewing with ads. We're not going to add stuff to it because we want to taste it how it comes out of the box. But I responded to one person. I said... I go ahead and buy my favorite pizza, so I don't have to add all yeah. that. Unless your favorite pizza doesn't have that brand, that that stuff. Yeah, but we we buy or we consistently buy the same brand and the same type of pizza, so that we don't have to add a bunch yeah. of stuff to it. If you're to me, if you're having to add a bunch of stuff to it, then you're buying the wrong pizza. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. But so, I'm just thinking there are some cases like if you bought. Like we have a cheese pizza we absolutely love, but if you wanted like a pepper kind of flavor to it, you could add 
uh, banana peppers you or something go, like that to oh, it yeah. and jazz it up. I agree. But but That's not different. Not pepperoni because they sell pepperoni. Right. You know, why add pepperoni when right. they sell but People are saying they add more cheese, they add more pepperoni and stuff no. like that. No, I'm thinking that. if you're adding basic ingredients like that, then you need to try another pizza. Yeah, try something else with those things already on. Yeah, now banana peppers is different because you don't see that on pizza. No. Same thing with any veggies, honestly. Peppers and onions, normally frozen versions of those aren't very great because they're watery. Mm -hmm. So I could see adding peppers and onions to it or something. But this is uh, this is mm -hmm. okay for a plain cheese pizza. It's not bad. I do like the back the crust. Part. It's got a little toasty cheese on it. That's what I like about it. Um, that toasty cheese tastes different than... Mm -hmm. um, it tastes different toasted than the untoasted in the center. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it other than it no. needs a little bit of um, seasoning. Seasoning. Because no. honestly, the cheese is good. It is mm -hmm. thick. There's nothing wrong with the crust. For $6, I think you're getting a good deal. The calories aren't bad at all. No. I just think, like you said, nature seasoning and it'll be perfect. Yeah, I think so too. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.